Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot. I am bringing Aries their weekly love read. Aries, this is for the week of August 15th through the 21st. Um, these are general reads, guys, so please take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest. If you feel like this is not your read at all, um, you can check your moon or your rising signs. If you're not sure what your moon and your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box below that will give you that information. There's also a link in the description box below that you can um, check out my webpage if you're interested in a personal read. And if you want to get in in a free love reading contest, um, you can do so. I have a link on my webpage or on my YouTube channel. I apologize. Um, I think it's called Free Love Reading Contest, August 2022. If you go to that video, if you comment on that video, like that video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, you will be put into the drawing. The drawing will take place September 1st for a winner. Um, I'm excited to do that free giveaway, guys. So please join if you're interested in getting a free love read. Um, today I'm doing something a little different. This is just going to be your love journey. Um, holy smokes, Aries, we have four of wands already. This is a twin flame connection that we're going to be looking at. So we're going to get some cards on your love journey. And then I have the love and romance journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot, messages of love oracle cards from All Things Intuitive, the romance angel oracle cards. Holy snikes, the emperor, guys, that's your energy, or it could be your divine counterpart. Um, I'm uh, sorry, the romance angel oracles. Aries, you are on fire. You guys are watching me shuffle. I can't even talk to Ten of Cups, which is like true love soulmate energy, like happily ever after. This is like the fairy tale card almost. Let me just tell you what the rest of the cards are. Um, the Divine Dating Lover Oracle cards from Angelic Revelation 144. And then we're going to finish off the read with Happy Notes, um, The Little Yogi by The Little Yogi. Oh, The Little Yogi Happy Notes by Barbara Sh Shower. Sorry. Oh, so you're getting like great, great, great. And then you got not so great, but it's not horrible. Um, so guys, I feel like you are currently within your journey. I feel like you have been feeling like you've been left out in the cold. I feel like you have been feeling as if you've been beaten down. Um, I'm sorry, this is like really not the best light I guess um but you're kind of let down left out in the cold you missed a situation something didn't go the way you wanted it to and you were kind of left behind I feel like this has been a very heavy burden for you guys with the ten of wands um as you can see in this picture um it's like too much to carry right so what you end up doing is kind of um putting away those burdens taking them off your back um and I think once you kind of drop those burdens, you, you're you opening things up to a whole lot of things. The bottom of the deck energy, guys, is the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is like a true love, right? This is a true love, someone who is empathetic, someone who is sympathetic, someone who is compassionate, someone who is um, nurturing, maternal, like someone who really shows their love. You feel love coming from this person. There's like zero doubt in your mind that this person will love you, right? So this is the bottom of the deck energy. And I think that's going to be the case, guys, because we have the Ten of Cups, which is um, true love, soulmate energy, potential marriage. This is like the fairy tale, the house, the home, you know, um, house and home are the same thing. The house, the dogs, the kids, the cat, you know, the white picket fence. This is like the fairy tale. This is marriage. This is total love. This person is going to be so in love with you. You're going to know it. I kind of feel like, guys, this is a divinely guided situation because we have the Emperor and the Twin Flame card. So to me, I feel like this is a Twin Flame journey. If you're not familiar with the Twin Flame journey is, you can kind of do some research. But it's basically a person who is like, your souls are um, kind of split initially and you find your way back to each other. And often you learn very harsh lessons um, throughout your journey with your twin flame. So if that resonates, then it probably really is. But I definitely think this is a divinely guided connection. This is a situation that's supposed to be happening. And potentially with this twin flame journey, guys, this person could have um, caused you to feel like you were left out in the cold in the past and had to put down some burdens um, and you were kind of like, I'm done with you. But I feel like uh, potentially this person may be coming back around. Through the cards that I got, I don't see a reunion, like a, a reunion um, in these cards here. But I feel like that could potentially be a situation if it is a twin flame journey. 
But I think this is one that's completely filled with love. The emperor being the divine counterpart is someone who wants to be a, like a provider, someone who's protector, someone who is going to be there to take care of you um, and be with you. Like you guys are two, two parts of a whole. Um, and then the four of wands also, aside from the twin flame 1111 card, it is like home stability. So I feel like this person is going to really feel like home. It's going to really feel safe. Um, they're going to be a protector. They're going to be a lover. They're going to have lots of passion for you. Um, so, all right. So let's look at the love and romance journey deck by Queen Sugar Tarot and get some more cards that have to do with this journey that you're on in love. engagement yes i i do feel like this is going to result in a higher level commitment guys with that ten of cups being there if you want to be married some people are like i never want to be married again <laughs> or i never want to be married um and that's uh whatever but it's a long-term commitment um okay we have masked offer and dark dark night of the soul so i feel like this is probably where this heartache comes in, right? Where the, you felt like you were left out in the cold and you couldn't hold on any longer and you had to kind of bail. I feel like somebody was going through the dark night of the soul and gave you a, a false offer. I feel like it was a situation in which you thought it was going to be great and then it wasn't. Um, so I feel like these two cards actually go with the two more negative, but they're not necessarily negative, but the not so great cards in the first initial spread. Let's get... Mm, I don't I think I'll get five of these too. Quality time. Oh, sorry. And climax. <laughs> Alright guys, so um yes, I feel like these two cards are like similar to the two more negative cards. They're not really negative. The five of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. I mean we go through things in life that are difficult, right? So I think in the past you felt like you were left out in the cold. Someone probably gave you some false hope in a situation. I think this person could potentially be going through their dark night of the soul right now and coming back to you. Or if it's not a reunion, it could be just like someone was going through the dark night of the soul and misused you because they were struggling themselves. But your new love journey, guys, your, the journey that's on your way is engagement, quality time, and climax. I'm just going to leave this right there so you can interpret however you choose to. But yes, I feel like this is definitely moving towards a, a higher level commitment, 100%. We're going to get a couple of Messages of Love Oracle cards from All Things Intuitive. Your love journey. Awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. And that is truly what happens after we go through the dark night of the soul. I mean, I feel like um, we can definitely go through hardships and hopefully you're learning your lessons from those hardships and making changes as you move forward. Apology. You can expect enough, the apology you want to hear. So if this is the person coming back, guys, they're going through it. They are having a spiritual awakening and they will be apologizing to you um, if you choose to accept it. It says it's what you want to hear. So, All right, let's get a couple of Romance Angel Oracle cards from Doreen Virtue. Honeymoon. Oh my gosh, guys. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So we have engagement and then we have honeymoon. If you don't want to be remarried, then maybe this is not your read. Because <laughs> I think that's what's in the cards for you, Aries. Whoa, that's way too many. And then we have soulmate and wedding, guys. I can't make this up. I'm not even going to pull anymore. I feel like those are what needed to be shown. So soulmate and wedding and honeymoon. Wowzers, guys. I like. I usually say like wow, wow, wubsy. But um, <laughs> if you don't have a, a child that's like in their late teens, then you probably don't know what that is. All right. So we're going to get Divine Dating Lovers Oracle cards from Angelic Revelation 144. Heartbreak. Game over. It is over for now. P.S. They will be back. Yeah, guys, I really do. Um, I did not see any reunion cards in, in the five cards that I pulled out or the bottom of the deck energy, but it sounds like this person is coming back around. So if you're wanting to accept this apology, I mean, you could always say no, and that could be promoting this new love to come. Um, I didn't clarify that part, so I guess it could be these cards. I need to turn it this way. Those are too large. 
one more card from the lovers divine dating lovers oracle deck they're not fun to nurturing yes so this very much obviously could be a pregnancy um if you are not looking to get pregnant or able to or want you know like beyond the age um this could be just a very nurturing situation all right guys so we're going to close off the read with happy notes um these are the little yogi happy notes from barbara shower shower <laughs> i don't know if i'm saying that right but um these are like little advice cards messages they're super cute i love this deck i have not used it in a long time and i'm just going to take the top one because I'm only giving you one. It says, not all of us can do great things, but we can do many small things with great love. So that is your message, Aries. So not all of us can do great things, but we can all do many things, many small things with great love. Cute. All right, Aries, that is your message. Um, that is your journey. Um, if you guys like this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you like this format where it's not like a person with messages, um, let me know that too. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, and if you hated it, let me know that too. Um, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, guys, take care. Bye-bye.